a what's good fly squad first off shout out Nody squad for coming through off the early y'all already know we got something to talk about when it comes to nba live 21 today and it may not be good news is it possible that nba live 21 has already been canceled way ahead of time that is something that people are speculating right now due to an article that was put out by ea sports but before we get too far into this video tell a hater what worry about yourself Now, of course, before we get into the nitty gritty, make sure you guys go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on those notifications and let's get rocking. So, Screen Rant says that EA Sports is planning to release four titles this year, four sports titles. And since they are planning to release four sports titles, it's about that time that, you know, Madden FIFA, you already know they're coming out. And NHL is probably going to come out as well. The fourth title is going to be between UFC and and NBA Live. So what scares NBA Live fans is the fact that UFC does release biennially. So basically every two years that's when UFC comes out. That means NBA Live may not have room to come out this year. Now of course this isn't really set in stone. This isn't really confirmed. However, NBA Live was under development for NBA Live 20 and as you can see on Twitter and Instagram, NBA Live is still being mocapped for this year. So, if that's the case, I don't really see NBA Live not coming out this year, but at the same time, UFC could definitely come out as well. So, I don't know if four titles is really going to be what comes out for EA Sports this year. In my opinion, this article from Screen Rant could be an error. I really feel like there has to be at least five sports titles released for EA Sports this year because, like I said, we know that NBA Live was under development. We saw the actual mocap actually happening, but we also know that UFC does come out every two years. So if it comes out every two years, that has to release as well. So I don't really feel like, unless they're taking a break from NHL, because I'm not going to lie, I don't know too many NHL fans, but I do know a few. But I feel like basketball and UFC could make them more money if done properly. I definitely think it would be a long shot for any of these games not to release, even NBA Live. I feel like with the time of development that they've actually had for NBA Live, I feel like it is going to release this year. And I feel like it's going to come out with a bang. But at the same time, I say that every year. So, you know, take my words with a grain of salt. I really feel like all five of those titles will release. And given that they did cancel NBA Live 20 already... I feel like they know that they have to come out with something that's different, something that's more engaging, something that's fun, something that'll break the mold when it comes to basketball video games. Because yes, people like NBA 2K, but at the same time, people hate NBA 2K. And I definitely feel like there's market available for NBA Live, given that NBA Live still has a pretty decent sized fan base. It's not huge in any way, shape, or form, but there are people that still will not buy NBA 2K to this day, and they're still playing NBA Live daily religiously so i really feel like they can capitalize on those people that are playing and maybe get even more people to play nba live if they actually execute correctly now of course this is me being optimistic but it is very true that nba live has a history of canceling their games ea sports could cancel nba live 21 once again hopefully that's not the case given that 2k doesn't have any type of competition at this point and when they don't have competition they can just drive our pockets like through the ground because no one is actually giving them competition to say stop with these microtransactions um so i'm hoping that nba live does still come out but we will see in the coming months like i said i feel like ea play this year nba live will return because if you remember for EA Play 2019, NBA Live was not there. And then all of a sudden, guess what? It was canceled. NBA Live needs to be at EA Play to be successful. Thank you guys for coming through this video. That is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, turn on your notifications. But also, I do stream on Twitch. So if you guys want to see me play NBA Live, NBA 2K, uh, Apex, Call of Duty, whatever I feel like playing at that given time, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Twitch as well. Link will be in the description below. But like I said, subscribe to the channel and check out my last video discussing the mocapping that they're still doing when it comes to the best dunkers in the world. But your boy Fly Guy, I'm out.